so Lewis has been playing Dragon Age 2, and he he has some thoughts on it, some first impressions. Well, Dragon Age 2 launched a few days ago in America, yesterday here, because we obviously in Europe get screwed by a couple of days, which is okay. I'm not not bitter about that at all. But it really shows off the divide between like gaming reviewers and actually people who played the game. So I looked on Metacritic, which is kind of a site which like aggregates reviews. So it took 16 professional published reviews, um, and it gives it like a score of 84% on average, which is quite good. Um, but it's some people, have, some reviewers have really been rating it highly. Like PC Gamer gave it 94% and rated it RPG of the decade. So I mean, of if the you decade? didn't know better, you'd, you of know. the decade, yes. Yeah. It's 2011, and they're saying it's the RPG of the decade. Exactly. If you look on Metacritic, actually, there's 1,300 ratings from fans who've actually played the game or the demo or had a good idea of it themselves. And they have only given it a score of 40%. Or actually, it was about 36% when I looked. So it's gone up <laughs> a little bit. Oh but why, I mean, why do you think they, they hate the game so much? I mean, the general complaints seem to be that it's quite short, set in a single city, dialogue stunted, art and graphics are nothing new. I mean, we've already put up a couple of videos of the sex scenes, which mm. have just got, like, worse from, I mean, Dragon Age Origins and Mass Effect 2. <laughs> I mean, in, in Dragon Age yeah. Origins, I don't know if you remember, oh, but I managed to finally sleep with shameless. Morrigan, and it was the only time in the actual game that she actually wore more clothes than she did for the rest of the entire game. Yeah. Do you remember? I mean, what the heck? Yeah. That's the only reason you kept playing it. That was the only thing that kept you playing Dragon Age Origins, because you wanted to bang Morrigan. <laughs> kept me going through those long, long loading screens. The other thing, though, that w what annoys me, and this is probably like a pet peeve, but the game launches with, like, multiple DLCs already ready to buy, and as I load up the oh. game, it's saying, Buy the DLC! Oh. It's like, what? I've just Come bought on. this game for 40 quid. Why should I shell out another 8 quid for a DLC? fucking irritates me um, and obviously there's a whole load of problems with like secure ROM stuff and DRMs but we're not even going to go into that because I bought it on Steam so I didn't have that problem anyway enough whining let's just play the game okay okay Lewis I want, I'm want. i interested to see what this game is like I've heard so many good things about <laughs> it oh, some artwork done by like a seven year old there on the splash screen it's good. So right, here you go. First off, you're going to by this very archaic looking screen where you have to pick your character from what looks like six identical people. Oh wow, it's like Diablo. But Exactly. <laughs> but these are in fact uh, <laughs> men and women. Over on the left is male, mage, which I'm picking. You can also be mage, rogue or warrior. Um, mm. And then you're immediately thrown into this cutscene where this Ooh. dwarf is being escorted down a corridor by two what? guardsmen. But don't you get to like customise what your character looks like or anything? Not yet. What's this? No you don't. No. You, you just get thrown them. into a dwarf being dragged. Oh no. Poor guy. He's actually um an interesting chap. He's called Varric, I think. Which is quite similar to Warwick, right. um, mm. with a V. I am Cassandra Pentagust, seeker of the Chantry. So she looks like your character, but she isn't your character. She just looks exactly oh. like your character, you if you chose a female. So you're kind of confused. Yeah, straight away. You know exactly why I'm here. <laughs> Time to start. She's just a very generic-looking woman, isn't she? She stabbed his book there. A little bit. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. So we have to. Uh, it's a long story ahead. Okay, so he's telling the story. Is that it? And you're playing the story that he's telling. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. So this is That's set after the events okay. of Dragon Age Origins. Mordor? Oh, I mean, uh... uh. <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, that's, that's me there. Oh, yeah. 
I'm like a powerful mage of So you can do all of these spells right off the bat, then, I'm guessing. Yep. There we are. You can make people catch fire. Oh, that's cool. We will have to fight them sooner or later. Well, the volume's a little bit screwed up in this because the chat is always a lot quieter than the in-game sound. Um, but you'll find that. I might be able to come. Right click that. to attack. So, <coughs> right. So this is supposed to be WASD mm. controls, okay? Right. Um, yeah. But actually, I found out later that, that it, this oh is an extremely God, clunky way of doing it, combat. trying to click on stuff and target stuff. There is a better way of doing it than this. The combat's so different from how it used to yeah. be in the first game. Well, it this looks like it's different thing. at the moment, but mm. it's actually almost exactly the same. No. So now the I've got speech got options. Shit all over him. Oh yeah, that's what happens. Here they come. So, speech options have either got like light-hearted, comedic, or serious. So it's kind of like it's kind of like nice, funny, or nasty. But it doesn't actually make a lot of difference mm. which you choose most of the time. So I've got like fire spells got. where I can just catch everything. Oh God! Just owning everything. Oh my god, it doesn't look like a PC game at all. It would be f refreshing if this was actually how the combat was like in the rest of the game, but it is basically how can it only this one cutscene <laughs> where it's like this so far that I've found how like, are you four hours of play. How can they change? Oh. Oh. So there's the ogre from Dragon Age Origins, oh, yeah. nothing new there, it's the same old model, exactly the same. Horrible thing. Yada yada. Yeah. So I've got all these crazy abilities. I'm just spamming them. I don't know what any of them do, but I'm pressing them all. That one knocks him on the floor. That's good. You're kicking his kicking ass. His ass. You may as well help out your friend there. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. There's no end to them. I remember that. Yeah, That's the finishers. Cool. In which you have a special animation. I do remember that from Dragon Age Origins. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't think that was a finisher, that was part of this like set cutscene thing here. Oh shit, son. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. What? Does that not match the story you've heard? So the dwarf was bullshitting. I'm not interested in story. And then you actually play the real game. So that was like, <laughs> no, bullshit, the game is not that good. And the guy says, okay, you got me. <laughs> and then you launch into the real game. You got like a pointed stick, and you've got a quest to kill 20 rats with it. In a sewer, yeah. Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to him, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. Are you sure he's a dwarf? He doesn't seem very much like a dwarf. Yeah, he doesn't look like much like a dwarf, does he? He's very human looking. Loading screen. But I can assure you, you know. he's a dwarf. So the loading screen's not too bad. Ah, and now I can finally customize. customize. So I'm thinking, right, I want to make an old kind of wizard, mm. right? So I'm thinking, okay, like old wizardy kind of thing. Because most of the time you can kind yeah, of make up the background there. for these guys yourselves a little bit. And also, mm. I my character in mm. Origins was an old wizard as well. So I thought, right, I'll just make mm. him look like an old wizard. I'll give him grey hair. Mm-hmm. Um, and he'll be like an old man wizard. I thought, fine, you know, it doesn't matter. So okay. there you are, bit of grey hair. Bit hair's a bit white. Bosh. It's a bit bleached white. Or... It's a bit too bleached white, but it's okay. It's okay, he's an old man. Hmm. His default name's Garrett, we'll change that. Fumblemore! <laughs> <laughs> so now we have 
basically we can do here, oh, what we can do is we can get the history. So you can either import it from Dragon Age Origins, um, which is very cool. Oh, right. And then it will actually change the world, which is quite clever. So you can actually choose how the last game ended. So these options are effectively oh. either Alistair became king and you survived, or you died that sounds and good one. the king... Uh, was oh. Alistair, but also he shares the throne with Anora, who was um, someone else in the game. Pfft. Who? She was someone else, don't worry. Yeah, I don't know. And then there was uh, mm -hmm. some other story where something else happened right, okay. and Alistair died and blah blah blah. So it's just, but it doesn't really have very much of a bearing right. on this story. It has a little bit of bearing, but not much because most hmm. of this game is set not on, not on Ferelden. It's set off like an, on a different town, which isn't near Ferelden. In Kirkwald, it's set in. Anyway, right. I just was a bit confused here which one I wanted to choose. Fascinating. So I just went with the default one at the top. Because <laughs> that's kind of how I remember it. You know, I completed the game. Alistair was king. Mm. Yada, 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 yada. Mm -hmm. so. okay. And I'm putting it on hard. Difficulty. Not nightmare. Does it go higher? Oh. No, it doesn't. Casual? No, 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 no. Hard. I can handle hard. I can handle hard? hard. Right? Are you yeah. sure? Is, yeah. Are we now gonna... Is this now gonna Played be it on followed hard. with you ranting about how difficult the combat is? Because mm, if so, no. it's your own bloody fault. I want a challenge. I don't want this to be easy. Um, mm. And I don't mind dying. And the combat was... It looked really easy. Betrayed by his most the combat was very easy last time. I just sort of ran through the whole game without any problems. So I thought I'd put it on hard since I've been here before. So this is giving you the history that you chose of what happened before in Dragon Age. So... That I mean really it's just sort of linking the two games together. That's, that's all. Yeah, the choice has. You know, and the story um, at the very start of Dragon Age Origins, one of the first sort of, like towns you go to is a place called Lothering, and it gets like overrun with darkspawn because it's kind of near where they come out of, like wherever they come out of. And the idea here is that you are on the run from Lothering with your family. So this is like my family. I think that's all of them. For the moment, oh. make us save us. Right? right. So that's my mother, there, who looks younger than um. I do. <laughs> right? Oh shit. Okay. Um. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and my sister and my brother look like basically our children. It's just really confusing. Um. Look, it's your fault. You picked the old looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you too insane? If we stand So there's always all this bullshit, isn't there, here where you know everyone just expostulates while this is there's terrible. like monsters. They just stood around talking. talking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just get the so fuck out of there. Come on. I mean this this premium So that's the premium content. It's like you ha you haven't bought that. Or if you have, you know, ha has spent oh, okay. some money. Fuck you, premium content. Um, marking that as my active quest. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's telling I me how to do tactics. I this is all the what? stuff. Th th what? This is like the AI what? thing. <laughs> Basically, this is like no! if you're not controlling them, that you can set them up to do certain things under certain situations. So okay. I just usually just leave right. that. They kind of press their abilities on cooldown anyway, so it's like meh. So I've got one spell, sparkles Mind there, Blast. You see the sparkles. Got some sparkles over Get the there. the sparkles. It's a free man staff. You can oh. press R to loot. Uh, I've got a spell called Mind Blast, but I didn't realise that it only works at like extreme close range, and even then doesn't work half the time. Uh, um, have you got nothing bound to one? I kind of... See, I've I've just used it twice, thinking, "What's it? You know, why isn't it working?" So I didn't realise. And meanwhile, my other companion has died over there, so I wasn't paying attention. Oh shit! Well, you did choose difficult combat. <laughs> it's all right. Looks so get back you up. know, no probs. Oh, there we go. So now I levelled up, and, and their mother just runs out of like, hiding. Hi, mummy. 
Uh, they would have sparkles if there was any loot on them, Lewis. I, yeah, I know, but I'm used to the loot like appearing ten seconds right. after you've killed them, like at Dragon Age. We've well, leveled up already. So what the I fuck? leveled up. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> How have you leveled up? Well, That's it's just insane. teaching you, isn't it? I'm level two. So I'm like a mage, so oh, I figure like... Because magic there, it says magic resistance, it doesn't actually say what it gives you. So I was like, uh -huh. I was oh, I was a bit confused whether it right. actually gave me magic for a second, but it does, apparently. So you're going to put it all in strength? So no, 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 I'll put it all in magic. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then... Whoa! Uh, I've got all talent, talent trees. trees. They made them all nice. So fuck knows what all these are, but... That's not... I mean, that. it looks like this, like, elemental, so it's fire and ice, it looks like. Hmm. Uh, although that bloody level up button, that level up thing over in the right is blocking the, like my like ability to read what the fuck stuff does. Thank you. <laughs> um, so this is like the one which I was at the start, I guess, in the cutscene where mm. I was like quite powerful. This is a sort of weird elementary one, it looks quite fun. Death, Vortex, Siphon, all sorts of control stuff, Dispels. This looks a lot better um, than... That's the one I have there, Mystic. Mind Blast, which I'm not really even That's sure That's a really short is. range one. Yeah, and this is like, I'm obviously having looked through, see so if I can figure out which one I want to be. This is look oh, like a crowd control that's a one. Good, that's a good tree. It looks like a good good one. Uh, healer tree. I, I was thinking at the start that I didn't want to be a healer, mm. but then I realised I was playing hard and I probably wanted to go with a healer. In the last game, you didn't really have much choice when it came to like having healers in your party. You, there was only like one available, and she was a bit annoying. Um, was she I the old I'd woman? Do it. Yeah, she was very annoying. Mm. So I see chain lightning. I'm like chain lightning. That's what I want. There you go. Oh, okay. Um, so you're a shaman. Well, I figured at this level it didn't really matter. I just pick whatever I wanted to pick. Um, and that's pretty much my okay. my attitude with this whole game. I'm just going to go ahead and pick what I want to pick. If it turns out to be any good or shit, then so Ooh, be it. I'll deal with it. Away from the darkspawn. Where else? And oh, then... we've been walking for ages. A good 15 yard. It's time for us to have another little chat about what's going on. <laughs> Where are we going? Who are you? Are you my brother? Why do you look so old? What? Why would we go there? There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that, but we still have family there, and an estate. <sighs> then we need to get to Guarin and take... I like how the only thing that tells you that the Mother is old is the fact that she has grey hair. Mm. That's it. That's the, that's the only thing. So there, I tried so mind blast lightning. again, because I still didn't realise. Oh, what and the, what the as fuck? soon as I pressed it, what? I think it triggered a cutscene somehow. Um, <laughs> and there's two other people here, so as if we haven't been oh introduced no! to enough characters already, there's now two more. Well, one of them's about to die, so I won't worry too much about that. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you'd, you'd you wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit of lag there. Um, Sorry about that. Uh, it is. What's what's with the FPS? It's weird. It's terrible. It just, it's terrible. Um, you got a really good computer. I don't understand why it's so. Why would it be so? Well, terrible? I'm playing on like really shitty settings as well. I keep pressing mind blast. That's what that slamming noise is. And I'm like, why isn't it doing shit? And I think I probably will actually look at the. Yeah, tools yeah. You. It's a bit stupid to start off as a wizard and give you a spell that only works at fucking like one yard range. As a wizard, come on now. Where's my fireball? Well, yeah, it stops people. You know, if if someone gets into melee range, you get into trouble. So you use that ability. It never bloody works, though. It's terrible. Oh, God, fucking mighty! How many fucking cutscenes are in this fucking game? The millions. Jesus this Christ! Is like you've millions. only just started the game, and you've had like four cutscenes. These aren't cutscenes. These are like dialogue chat things. They're cinematics. <sighs> Like a fucking Kevin Smith movie. Blah 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 So this guy who just got stabbed is up on his feet called saying that he's gonna kill me because I'm a mage. Yeah, he's fine. He's now he's angry. 
my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. The wrath of the Templars is terrible indeed. Oh right, yeah, Templars. They hate magic users. That's right. Yeah, so these guys are Templars. Remember. Thank you, Wesley. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. So then the game crashed. What the fuck? Um. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Not even kidding. Wow. It crashed like right there. Black screened. I had to um. reload and fuck around. <sighs> so oh, I went no. back in and I was right back at the start. Look where I am. All the way back here. Level 1. Sparkles! Again. Sparkles. Dead refugee. Oh, stuff. Ugh. So I didn't equip this before, but it's, does, it's not any different. Look, it's exactly oh. the same. Five cold damage and no, five just... fire damage. And all that does yeah. is change your animation on your attacks. Anyway, I fast forwarded, so I went all the way back yeah. through that again and skipped the whole conversation because it's boring. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, balls to it. Let's move on with our lives. So we're killing stuff again. <laughs> we're just like owning our way through it. This that guy sort over there's probably about sort to of die. Actiony combat. Yeah. Looks much um, better than in Origins. So much better. I yeah, managed to get pew, my pew, pew. my brother killed. Pew, yeah. Pew, 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 pew. There's mine blast. See, I knocked someone back. Oh god, careful, second. Lewis. You're low on health. I'm getting you're getting up, you're being yeah. hit I'm, there by the guy. I'm, I've taken a health Oop. potion by pressing minus on my keyboard. Ah. Which is really, really nice. Minus. Really it's a good accessible. place to have it bound to. Um, yeah. <laughs> I th do you know what though? I've d at this point, I actually looked at the key bindings and I mm. figured out that I wasn't supposed to be right clicking on people. If you press your R key, it automatically targets what? the nearest mob and starts attacking them. So you can actually play oh. with WASD a bit more easily. But it didn't tell me that in the mm. tutorial. However, I found it in the key bindings. Nice. So I don't yeah. know whether you are supposed to sort of play yeah. with keyboard controls, but minus and equals aren't exactly like accessible, are they? Ooh. It's not exactly having them on like tab or something. So I level up, and level up again. Three, level three. <laughs> now I have to use another. Only a few spell. minutes into the game. <laughs> Ding I don't twice. even know what I want here. I'm just gonna get stone fist. You don't seem very enthusiastic about this game. Because it's looking quite good to me. No, I'm okay, I'm okay with it at this point, actually. At this point, I'm actually okay with it. I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, so I've, I've gone for Spirit Bolt. Um, put a few more points in Magic, magic again. obviously. Now I've got to do Aveline, mm. and I'm like, oh, I can't be arsed with all oh, these other things. Oh, Friend people. and Rival. We've got a little bar there that tells you, yeah. you know, their sort of... Their feelings towards you. And she's got hundreds of abilities as well, but she's like a tank, you know, like a sword and shield, so... When you max out friend, right, does that mean you can bang them? Pretty much, yeah, that's that's the general rule. But you have to keep kind of talking to them, like, all the time, over and over and over and over again. And Lewis, what? you know we're quite good friends, but I'm mean to you now and again. Yeah. The reason I'm mean is because I'm worried of us maxing out the friend <laughs> bar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want us to get to that stage. I don't want there to be a really weird cutscene in which I slowly remove my hoodie. Yeah, but you don't though. You keep it on. You keep your full armour on and then you lie down what? on the bed. And I do lie I... on top of you with my full armour on. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I've seen it. It's saved in the Yogg's folder. I accessed the game files.